Instead, it's third and 15. Chiefs need some Mahomes magic. Launches down the middle. Hill open. Caught. And they get it. Kansas City, the big play of 44 yards. Pressure by Buckner. Joe, and he, Mahomes gets it downfield finally. He gets the pressure down the field all the way on Jimmy Ward. And once you threaten him, he's one on one on the safety. Now you got to have time in the pocket in order to deliver that throw. And he got it. He hung in there. I think it was Bosa who was maybe coming off the edge to his left, but he had time. The line held up. Huge play on third down. Now one toward the end zone and incomplete for Hill. And that 44 yard completion to Tyreek Hill, who Needs to catch his breath on the sideline. The longest play of this Super Bowl so far. Yeah, I think he had to wait on it. I think it was DeForest Buckner uh, that actually was the one who applied the pressure. But look at that. I mean, if you're Jimmy Ward and you've got Tyreek Hill who runs a 4-2 and he's barreling down on you and the quarterback has time in the pocket, I mean, you're starting to get a little nervous. And he comes out of that and he goes to the sideline. That's uh, We kept waiting for that. And I don't care how much you want to try to play coverage. They're playing soft there. If you don't get to the quarterback, they have those chances. Second down and 10. Mahomes out to his right. Throws it away. More pressure by Armstead and Bosa this time. And that'll bring up third down and 10. Well, they're in a good position right here, Joe. I mean, they're in field goal range, and, and they're going to need a field goal, two-possession game. They can cut this to a one-possession game. Mahomes here at third and ten. He's just got to be smart with the football. One-on-one -on -one at the bottom. Pass is floated. End zone and incomplete, but a flag. Kelsey covered by Tarverius Moore. They lock up across the board one on one and, and Tarverius Moore he, he never turns around tries to make a play on the ball. That's uh, I'm a little surprised appearance. by that Defense call by Robert Sola. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball he plays at the one yard line. Automatic first down. Yeah. Mike what did you see there. Clear defensive pass interference. He turns, not plays the ball into the body. Pretty easy if there is an easy pass interference call to make. 20 yard penalty of first down. First and goal. Pass open. Touchdown. Kelsey. Chiefs are back in it. play action and and that's just too tough on the defense down here on the goal line and that's a heck of a job all set up the third and long and then they get the big play down the field of Tyree kill great job by that offensive line holding up and giving Mahomes time to make that throw fourth touchdown catch of this postseason for Travis Kelsey the 44 yarder to Tyree kill set it up well, here at the very end of the NFL's centennial season, Commissioner Roger Goodell here in Miami Gardens seeing a thrilling Super Bowl 54 three point game now in San Francisco about to get it back. James from just outside the end zone. Inches short of the 20, knocked down by Ben Neiman. Time for tonight's next gen stats powered by AWS. And we look at the play action pass toy for Jimmy Garoppolo and what he's done off it in this game 12 out of 14 with one of his touchdowns and a 127.1 rating. And he Use play action more than any quarterback in the NFL this season. Yeah, it's a staple of the Kyle Shanahan offense everywhere that he has been. And, and it's been when Garoppolo's at his best really all year long. I'm not surprised by those numbers. 
Here is Mostert to the left. Takes it up to the 25 and a gain of five where Derek Nadi knocked him down. Garoppolo, 18 of 22 overall, 195, one touchdown, one pick, leading by three. Well, we talked about it. I mean, if they're able to, to pick up those kinds of yards, then Kyle Shanahan's going to stick with it. But the last time I said that when they picked up a nice gain on first down, they came out on second down and went play action off of it. Garoppolo has it batted down by Chris Jones. And now third down. That's just a really great job by a by a really great player and not and knowing he's not getting there getting his hands up that quick passing game in the middle. Hey, this is uh, this is a key third down right now for both of these teams. And what is Kyle Shanahan going to throw up and will Spagnolo bring some heat. Looks like they may bring it from over here. Third down, Garoppolo throws, not there. Incomplete. Neiman got pressure, and it's fourth down. They bring six rushers. They bring Daniel Sorensen. He's reading on the back. He hangs in to protect. And then Neiman, he hits the gap right inside, affecting the throw. That's, uh, that's a great job by this Chiefs defense as they force their first three and out with 518 to go. If they're able to get any kind of return off of this, they're going to have excellent field position. Nicole Hartman, the rookie, averaged over nine yards per punt return during the regular season. Five hauled in by Hardman. 40 yard punt, nothing on the return of the fair catch by the rookie Hardman. And here is Patrick Mahomes. Yes, he is. Here he is. And, you know, it has not been a pretty night for him. But when he had to make the play on third and 15, he makes it. He gets the penalty, the pass interference on third and 10. And now, with all that being said and all that has happened, he finds himself with five minutes to play and only down three. Come on, on. Safe throw to Hill, looking for blocks. Tyreek Hill gets five. Patrick Mahomes has rallied the Chiefs to wins. They've been down by double digits four times this regular season and postseason combined. They got Tyreek Hill right now on Richard Sherman with no help. Pressure. Mahomes gets away. Pass is caught. First down. The tight end, Kelsey. Gain of nine. This is Patrick Mahomes doing a great job of, of keeping the play alive, being able to step up. It's one thing to have edge pressure, but if there's nobody inside, that's the result. Here's Hill. Can't get around Sherman. Richard Sherman with a strong tackle and a gain of just three. Hey, right now you can kind of feel it, right? That that the 49ers are they're reeling a little bit. You know, I mean Andy Reid and Pat Mahomes, they they've got them on their heels, and you know they went to that hurry up offense on that previous possession, and now they're slowing things down a little bit. And Hoping that they can wind this thing down, punch it into the end zone with not much time, if any, left. Second down and seven. Mahomes, Watkins, what a throw! Sammy Watkins out of bounds near the 11. Well, Damian Williams, he comes over, he picks up the blitz by. Kaywon Williams, and it's one on one then against Richard Sherman with Sammy Watkins. And, and Richard Sherman, one on one, is just not going to run with him. They've had those chances at other times tonight, 
They just have not taken the shot. But now they get the one-on-one -on, -one on Sherman. And with the blitz, safety working to the middle. That was, uh, that was a heck of a throw also by Mahomes. They marked him out at the 10. Brings up first and goal. Mahomes will run out of bounds inside the five. Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers put up 17 straight points, led by 10. Now the lead is three, and it is hanging in the balance. Kyle Shanahan, he's uh, he's already working on that call sheet on what he's going to come back with. He's just assuming that the Chiefs are going to come away with a touchdown, and how much time is he going to have left, and what does he like on that call sheet? Mahomes keeps, gets popped. And then spins, knocked down at the five by Jaquaski Tart. And that was a heavy hit, a loss of one. Well, you're not kidding. Jaquaski Tart, he comes up and, I mean, you know, I, I'm not, <laughs> that's a couple times now. I'm not real sure what Patrick Mahomes is trying to do. Now third down and goal. Here's Kelsey. This is their their biggest target down here in the red zone. He's working against Richard Sherman. Mahomes throws, pass, caught. Williams, touchdown. Kansas City jumps on top. Close, Joe. That that right foot comes out of bounds. Where's the ball before that happens? Well, they'll look at it every possible way. As right now, this is the go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter of a Super Bowl. He reached, got it across the goal line, but it looked like that right foot might have been out. Here's another look. I haven't just, seen anything definitive, however, to overturn the call on the field. Yeah, I agree. There's just nothing really just straight down the line to know, you know, if the tip of that ball is if it hits any part this of that front, under white line. I don't know that there's going to be anything there that they're going to be able to overturn it. And this play officially under review. Pretty good design play, though, there. With, you know, I circled Travis Kelsey. And he pushes up, and it allows Williams then to, to be able to get the ball with some room to run. And you see the right foot already on the boundary. As they try to piece this together. Remember, that was a third down play, Mike. Well, Joe, I look at this one and say, man, it is so close to call, um, which so many of them there are involving the pylon. Is the ball breaking the plane? You need that shot down the line. The closest one down the line here, you can see the all the tip of the ball just has to break the plane, and the foot is down out of bounds, but it's that point. I just don't think, again, this doesn't look to me to be clear enough to overturn. It was third down and goal. So if this calls overturned and they move it outside the goal line, it would be fourth down. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Kansas City officially on top. And Patrick Mahomes on that drive went five for five, 60 yards and a touchdown. For Damian Williams, his 10th career postseason touchdown, tied for second among active players now. They call him playoff Damian. And he took the throw and was just able to get it in. And this is a four point game with 2.44 left.
We talked about it, Joe, coming out there down 10 points, and you know, we've seen it. You see the celebration there in the Hunt's suite, and you can't let up. You just cannot let up against this group. I mean, it, it, think about it. Kyle Shanahan challenges the call, the Tyreek Hill catch that's incomplete, brings up third and long, and it looked like you're thinking, okay, well, are they going to go for it if they don't make it on fourth down? Instead, they get the huge play then down the field to Tyreek Hill, and it was it was game on at that point. Well, the Chiefs now put up 14 straight after the 49ers scored 17 straight, and the focus, the spotlight falls back on the other side. And Jimmy Garoppolo. I'll tell you what, though, don't go to sleep on Jimmy Garoppolo. Think back to that Saints game. Now he only had to get him down the field for a field goal. He didn't have a whole lot of time to work with. He, he's got he's got plenty of time. Only now he's got to come away with a touchdown. And you know for that narrative all week for the last two weeks actually about not wanting to expose him the running game he gets a chance to put all that to bed. James brings it from the goal line and can't get to the 20. Knocked down just across the 15 yard line by Byron Pringle. He's been all over the place on special teams for the Chiefs. Yeah, I don't think you can say enough for the special teams unit for the Kansas City Chiefs on in their kick coverage teams. I mean they've been they've been really good. This drive will start at the 15 yard line. For the 49ers, it's first down and 85. <laughs> That's right. It's a good way to put it. With all three of their timeouts, Mostert cuts up field. Good start to this possession. Already out to the 32. Fuller made the tackle, but not before 17 yards. Chiefs pretty soft in coverage, soft with the linebackers and. We've seen it so many times when, of course, they got three timeouts. You know they don't have to abandon the run, but Kyle Shanahan knows how good they are in that department, and they can pick up just as many yards on the ground that we've seen it than they do in the air. And with the play being shut down, with just over two minutes to go, looked like there might have been movement before the snap. Ball start. Offense number 17. Five yard penalty. Still first down. So they'll reset the game clock and take it back outside two minutes. To 202. They called that on uh, Emmanuel Sanders. And it was. Picked up in October from the Broncos. Yeah, he was reacting to Frank Clark. And got called for the penalty. First down and 15, Garoppolo, Kittle. And he's able to lower his shoulder, get a couple of extra yards. Didn't need to go out of bounds with a two minute warning coming up, and he gets eight. Tonight, finally the night for 61-year-old Andy Reid, who spent 14 years as the head coach of the Eagles, got his team to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 39, lost to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots, or will it be Kyle Shanahan in his third year with the 49ers, securing the sixth Super Bowl win for San Francisco? Pass is caught by Bourne. And he is out of bounds near midfield, and they're going to mark him at the Kansas City 49, shoved out by Ward after a gain of 16. It looked to me like Bourne just kind of had lived a little bit right there. He's running a pivot route, China route on the outside, and, and he realizes the coverage in front, throws Garoppolo off a little bit, but because he had time in the pocket, uh, Bourne is able to uncover himself, and, and Garoppolo finds him. That's a pretty good ad lib job by those two players. Garoppolo has it batted into the air and it falls to the ground. Chris Jones gets another. This is the stadium where Joe Montana found John Taylor in Super Bowl 23.
three to beat the Cincinnati Bengals 20 to 16 with a game hanging in the balance and now it's not Montana it's Jimmy Garoppolo who was traded to the 49ers from the Patriots in 2017 trying to make his mark in Super Bowl history. Pass is nearly picked by Kendall Fuller as he came flashing through. Yeah Jimmy Garoppolo is is really fortunate there is Fuller he, he reads it the entire way. He, he knows he's getting help on the inside and that could have very easily have been intercepted. And Chris Jones got a little piece of that pass as it sailed past the line now third down and ten. Garoppolo airs it out Sanders downfield is overthrown. And now with a minute 33 left it's fourth and ten. I tell you he had him too Joe he got in behind him it's not what Kansas City wanted but a uh, Emmanuel Sanders he gets by Ward and Fenton he's he they're trying to double him on the outside but. Yeah just just overshot it. So now fourth and ten. I think this is the right decision too. the 49ers they have all three timeouts they're going to have to make a stop either way see what they can do if they don't pick it up defense is going to come have to come out and make something happen play clock is they're going to let the play go it's not going to matter as Garoppolo now has it not incomplete Clark was there and had pressure for the Kansas City defense. That was awfully close to delay a game and there is a flag down but that happened during the play rolling on the field the quarterback was in the grass therefore the play is dead there is no illegal touching first down Kansas City Kansas City takes over on downs with a minute twenty five left. You see the, the pressure that, that Kansas City brings and, and they, they get to him and just no no chance whatsoever and Garoppolo just trying to make something happen there on fourth down but now you know, with the three timeouts there is still a chance but it's up to this defense now that'll go down as a sack for Frank Clark traded to the Chiefs from Seattle. That's his fifth of this postseason handoff here. Damian Williams plows ahead on first down. Timeout taken by the 49ers after a gain of four. Let's go back to that fourth and ten play and watch the play clock in the background. Yeah, they'll normally look at that, Joe, the, the official, when it hits zero, then they look to see if the ball's being snapped, and, and, and that was not the case. Yeah that was a little longer than normal Mike. Well I think you know we're looking at it in super 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 slow motion. We looked at here at regular speed and you can see the back judge moving forward. He's going to get ready to call it. But by the time he sees the clock turn zero then by the time he then looks to the ball it's already being snapped. Those are that that little acceptable time frame in real time where you don't have a foul. I would have shut that play down obviously now second and six Williams makes a cut and will roll into the end zone for the touchdown no flags
Take a look and make sure that he didn't step out, which clearly he does not. Anthony Sherman, the fullback, he's the one who really helped secure the edge. A bad angle, and, and it's good night. San Francisco, 38 yards for Damian Williams. And the Chiefs now with three straight fourth quarter touchdown drives. To lead by 11. Coming up next, the Amazon postgame show featuring the Vince Lombardi Trophy and Disney Parks MVP Award presentations. Chiefs can taste it. Andy Reid has been at this a long time, 21 years. As a head coach in the NFL, he's been with Kansas City now for seven. He has the most career wins of any coach in history without a Super Bowl victory. And he's a minute 12 away from delivering the Hunt family and the Kansas City Chiefs their second Super Bowl win 50 years after their first. Pretty good stuff. Patrick Mahomes, we talked about it. He, he was not on his game, was not playing his best football. Had back to back interceptions and comes off of those to lead his team to three straight touchdown drives. In just over five minutes. Patrick Mahomes this after the touchdown hugs Chiefs able to exhale power and light district back in Kansas City going crazy with those great Chiefs and sports fans Still two more timeouts left for the 49ers, but down by 11. Garoppolo gets hit. The ball comes out. Looked like an incomplete pass, but they let them play on. Pressured by Frank Clark, who just got the sack previously. And it looked like an incomplete pass. Yeah, I sure thought it was. So let's take a look at it. It's good that. Yeah. So yeah it's a forward pass a good job by these officials letting it play out and Garoppolo just trying to, to buy some time and let those guys get down the field where he can try to make a play but you, know, you mentioned Andy Reid Joe and one of the most respected and most liked guys in all of football and really the history of the game and there's so many people that have been touched by him and what he has meant to him I know his players love him. They loved him in Philadelphia. They loved him After when he was coaching at Green Bay, and they certainly love him in Kansas City. And he turned this program around Second down. in the very first year. And I know there's a lot of people really happy for him to, short of some miracle happening, to come away with a Super Bowl win. They did make the announcement that that last play was an incomplete pass, not a fumble. And that Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl four winning team, ten members. Of that team ended up in the Hall of Fame. 17 total from the Chiefs and the Vikings that met at Tulane Stadium. But how many players have come and gone? Great players, great coaches for the Chiefs that have not been able to taste this moment. This is Pitt. Kendall Fuller up to get it. And that will end this game. With under a minute to go. Hey. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs now. With three straight postseason wins after trailing by 10 or more points. <laughs> and Andy Reid gets to celebrate with his team.
Timeout taken by Kyle Shanahan of the 49ers. This moment belongs to Kansas City, the Chiefs, Andy Reid, the Hunt family. But how about the job done on the other sideline, a team that won four games last year, the number one seed getting to the Super Bowl and coming up short. And Kyle Shanahan's third year as the head man with San Francisco. Well, these are tough endings when you're not able to, to win the last game of the season. You've had such a great year to get to this point. This was a great season by San Francisco. A lot to be proud of, but it will be hard for them to look at it that way after this game. It'll take some time, but for the Kansas City Chiefs, hats off to them and the man known as Big Red is going to be a Super Bowl champ. And Big Red just called his stud third year quarterback Patrick Mahomes the reigning MVP over to the sideline great quarterbacks win big games and Patrick Mahomes was bottled up most of the night but came alive late and he plays on the move and he and these Chiefs will walk out of here winners of Super Bowl 54. No timeouts left for San Francisco. As Mahomes tries to take as much time off the clock as he can. And it's fourth down. And it looks like Andy Reid will eventually use his first timeout. The Kansas City Chiefs Clark Hunt 54 years old not yet five when the Chiefs won Super Bowl four Brett Veach their 42 year old general manager. Norma Hunt the widow of the late great Lamar Hunt. Who founded this team as the Dallas Texans moved to Kansas City in 1963. Won Super Bowl four at the end of the 69 season, January of 1970, and with Tammy Reed, the wife of Andy Reed, celebrating. Five seconds remain, and they keep Mahomes out there. Yeah, they're going to run around or just throw this thing up and try to run out the rest of this clock. And they have done it. Chiefs are Super Bowl champions here in Miami as they win it here in Super Bowl 54.